I'm going to call this Six. day five. What are you doing? If you vaped in the morning on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Club are good. I got stories, baby. Because I quit vaping. Oh, how is this it? This pod is day... sponsored by Velo. <laughs> <laughs> on day six, how is your mental currently? It would appear that a lot of people with ADHD get really addicted to nicotine because your brain is constantly needing some form of excitement and vaping gives you that. I found that, like we've spoke about it on here before, like my motivation and general like spark diminished and I was like, I wonder if that's just an age thing or whatever. But it turns out that since I've stopped vaping, which is only five days, I am so bored, dude. The days are so long because I'm not getting that like, I think the dopamine, I hate people that talk about dopamine because no one understands it. But as I said, I'm pretty much Huberman now. <laughs> I feel like it's definitely without that constant dopamine hit of, you've done something that you were going to be rewarded for by the nice feeling in your brain. Mm -hmm. You're like, what can I do to get that nice feeling in my brain? Like I've been to the gym twice a day for like three days. It's insane. Like I've got, I need to do things. And that's just from not getting that. Mm. And these are so slow release and they're so low nicotine that. What milligrams they, are they running? Uh, I think these ones are four. Okay. I just got these in the UK when I was yeah. flying back. Because I'd always, my intent had always been to quit. But I think it was Monday, they put the prices of vapes up to 40 bucks. On Monday, I was like, man, I bought one of the cooler ones. Mm -hmm. So I had a couple of hits on it on Monday morning. And I was like, this is making me feel like shit. I've got to quit anyway. I've, I'm obviously, I don't want to fucking vape forever. Shit is gay as hell. Like it's really is. It's fucking delicious fucking fairy floss smoke yes it's awesome and i miss it dearly and i desperately desperately want to have one in my hand <laughs> right now so i'm not talking that much shit on it but i even when i was doing it i was like i know this is wrong um so i was like all right well look i'll i tossed it across the room in here and i was i was like i'll play a game of fifa and i'll see how many times a craving hits, how many times I reach for it, how many times I'm like agitated. And a game of FIFA was like seven, I think it was like seven minute halves. So I played one half and it was like literally every 90 seconds. Mm -hmm. Every 90 seconds, my hands would go, like the ball would go out and I was that was when I'd normally reach. And yeah. Cause I was a pretty hardcore user. Anyone that actually watched the pod instead of listening to it. A hundred percent. Yeah, I was like- Constant. Fully. For years. Yeah, yeah, for fucking years. And I was proud of quitting cigarettes. Yeah. To vape because I was like, I'll start vaping to get off the cigarettes. And then just- Turn, I think vaping is more addictive. For me personally, it was fully more addictive. The problem, I, well, I think to your point, it's also more socially acceptable. Like you can sit in here and puff on a vape and not have people being like, oh, dude, come on. But if you sparked up seven cigarettes in a row, you'd be like, fucking give it a break, bro. Yeah, yeah. Plus, it doesn't, it smells nice. Mm. It, no one really gives that much of a fuck about it. No. It's not like that's disgusting because it's like it's probably better smelling than the normal mm. life. Um, and, yeah, you can do it. You don't need to make an effort to do it. Oh, says the man, just banging on a vape. God damn. Wanted to test you today. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Scott starts scratching himself for those listening at home. I got these cheese burgers. <laughs> I suck your dick, <laughs> man. <laughs> um, yeah, dude, it's pretty it's pretty fucking hardcore. So it was definitely like the 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 first sort of day was pretty intense. Mm. So I'd announced to everyone in the studio, I was like, Yo, I am. I gave the vape to young Josh Ludlow, producer of the pod. Probably poke his head out of the background. And I there was like, um, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, this is yours. I'm going to try and jump off it. I forgot I had these. Mm. So for the first sort of six, seven hours, I was like, Jesus Christ. Very, very uncomfortable. Mm. Um, yeah, pretty hardcore craving. So I'd said to everyone here, I was like, yo, I'm 
terribly agitated. It's not anything to do with anyone in here. It's not you, it's me. Josh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how bad has he been this week? And be honest. <laughs> Josh basically said that uh, Scott has now inflicted him with a nicotine addiction. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the uh, rule one is just blame someone else. Who <laughs> as he flashes a back of Velos as well. Very nice. I'm funnier than I am mean. And being mean is also funny. It can be. So I was like, I hate everyone mm -hmm. in here. Equally. And that's not your fault. It's me battling with nicotine. I found the best way to curb that rather than being mad at people was to tell people how mad I was at them. But I knew that that wasn't real. And that would kind of like bring it down. Mm -hmm. So like anytime anyone's breathing too loudly, I was like, I want to murder you, but I know that that's wrong. And that would kind of quell the mm -hmm. urge to murder them. Um, not having your phone on silent. Yep. Josh Clay, it's in the office. Jesus fucking Christ. Anyone in the office Man, with ketones? With what? Ketones. What's ketones? Like when you type in a message? Tick, 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 no, no. That would, oh, God, that fucking sends me. Yeah, that would be in, under the floorboards. Yes. But Josh has like every fucking notification tone known to man going through his speakers and his fucking phone. Every Yeah. And Kate I was Bell like, dude. Cade does that too. Cade. Um, dude, yes. what are you fucking doing? Turn. If you're a decent human being, you're on fucking Do Not Disturb. Honestly, it doesn't really bother me too much, but uh, I think if I was in your position, it certainly would. Yeah, you saying it doesn't bother you bothers me right now because I am fucking still quite <laughs> So fuck you and everyone like you. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, that was the thing. And I, so I wanted to strangle everyone. But I was telling them that I knew that that wasn't real. Yep. Um, and that helped. First night's sleep, absolute fucking hell. Like tossing and turning, total sort of disorientation, like waking up and being like, mm -hmm. not knowing what's going on. It wasn't like I need a vape. It was just like, yeah, I'm fucking mental. Um, day two, pretty much a continuation. But you're like, well, I'm fucking doing it now. Yeah, you're in. So, and then I realized that these boys. Right. So, tossed a couple, tossed one of those under the thing. But these make you feel sick as shit. Yeah, like nauseous. Yeah. So, it's like, okay, I'm hopefully not going to get super addicted to these. Maybe I will. Maybe that's better. Maybe I'll fucking step down. Who knows? Um, yeah. So, day two, I was like, I've got to fucking, maybe I'm, maybe I'm getting a grip on this somewhat. Like, it's, I'm aware it's going to suck. And I'd given myself, a week of it sucking. Mm. Fair play. Mm. Um, end up waking up day, like slept better on day two. That was where I started like working out super hard because I, I realized, I've, I've recognized that I just had all this sort of nervous energy. Um, not getting a lot of work done. I would just accepted that, that it's like my job right now is to fucking not vape. Like it's, it's really, if, if any, for anyone that's thinking about it, it's really, really, really fucking hard. Like, that's not some pussy shit. Like, it's very fucking hard. So, yeah, no, day two, like, I fucking, I was definitely still going through it. At that point, you're kind of telling everyone how bad it is. So, quitting vaping fucking sucks. And then you kind of hate yourself for doing that. And you hate them for not really caring. Mm -hmm. So, you, you start to get a little bit fueled by hate, which I... Recognize as quite a good fuel source. Mm. Day three was fine. Like it was like, it was still there, but it was like, this isn't too fucking bad. And I was like, everyone says this is really fucking hard. It's not that fucking hard. I was doing work. I was getting through the day. I was like, went to the gym. I was still like reaching every now and then. But I, I was like, man, this isn't the fucking as bad as everyone thinks it is. And I've, I've pretty much knocked it on the head in two days. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, I'm obviously super strong. I'm obviously the king. Yeah, Wolverine. Who was I to think that I'm a normal person? Exactly. So ego inflated. And then day four was the worst day of my life. <laughs> day three was a total lie. It was like- The red herring. Yeah, you know how there's a ceasefire in like the Gaza Strip and you're like, oh no, man- No, well, you were in the eye out. of the storm. Anyway. I woke up with a, a headache. That, and that was yesterday? No. This, today's day six. Right. 
this is it's probably relatively good information for people that want to quit vaping because they're like... Is your day's fucked up? Because you said you had a vape on Monday. I had a vape Monday morning, so I quit Monday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Friday, Thursday, Friday, Thursday, Saturday. Friday, Saturday. I'm calling this Six. day five. What are you fucking doing? If you vaped in the morning on Monday... I will fucking stab you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was looking for, guys. I want to throw this That's at your That's what I was looking I, for. I, I had to <laughs> hold my arm from throwing this at your face just then. <laughs> Fuck yourself. I don't have to work with Scott, guys, so... Uh, mission accomplished. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> He threw his nicotine at me, but you know what? Joke's on you because you're going to need that. (laughs) Everyone, Scott had to get up off the chair to go fetch the nicotine that he threw at me. I'm worried about him swinging at me on his cut. No, we're good. We're good. We're clear. (laughs) No, I respect it. You're um, you're doing the right thing because it is a terrible affliction. I'm... um, I'm guilty of the vaping as I am right now, but for me, it's very easy. Like if I, I know I'm going out and having a big night tonight and the thing that I'm going to want to suck on is one of those. Yeah. Um, so, but come tomorrow morning, that thing will be half done and I'll throw it in the bin. Yeah. Yeah. So you just don't have like the same kind no. of addictive thing to it. At all. No. But like, I mean, I don't have with alcohol. Like, yeah. you know, people will be like, I need to take a month off drinking. It's like, I'd take a month off drinking without even knowing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's not, there's, there's no part of me that has. So I think everyone's just got their different vices to for some sure, degree. For sure. Um, but yeah, so that was, that was this crazy, crazy waking up with a headache, that, mm. like an, a world ending headache, mm-hmm. trying to go back to sleep, but couldn't sleep because I have restless legs, which is the f- most fucking the mm. gayest thing in the world. Your feet are going like, mm-hmm. like fucking Meek Mill's legs. And then, <laughs> um, yeah, that was just, that was like fucking just walking around the house swearing, hating everything, hating myself. It was fucked. It was like a fucking all out assault on all senses. Mm. And then, um, yeah, that started to dissipate a little bit through the evening. But do you feel you're out of the storm now? I, well, I'm very untrusting of how I feel because I feel pretty still good a bit today. rainy. Yeah, like yesterday, yesterday was like okay, but it, it was just kind of like I was. I got really quiet. Like I was hanging out with Yoni and I was like, I helped him move a fridge. Like you just need to, you need activities. Mm. You need to be fucking doing shit. So I've just been like up and doing stuff. But he was trying to talk to me and I was just like, my brain was just like completely fucking, I was completely brain dead. Um, And then last night was a bit insomnia, which sucked. But today I think I woke up and I feel pretty good. Like I woke up, I went to the gym. I've been saunering a lot because mm-hmm. I, like everyone else, pretends to think that 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 I know that that does something for you. I think saunas like fucking Zumba. I think saunas like like, like especially um, infrared saunas. I think we were all just like. Are you poo pooing the heat shock proteins, bro? Yeah, that that is exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, people that say gay shit like that. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like you need a fucking ice bath, and the thing is like they didn't have that. All throughout human history, you know, it's like, that's what you need. You need to fucking shock your body this way and shock your body that way. It's like, maybe your body doesn't want to be fucking shocked. <laughs> um, but either way, I'm sweating. Well, good. I'm Up glad. Marley, I'm sweating. I'm glad you're making uh, making progress away from the fucking fairy floss. Ice. I'm done. I'm definitely done. Like, I'm not going, I'm not doing it. Cool. Because... This isn't for anyone else. It's just for me. It's like, what's the fucking... At this point, it's like... It's been a shitty, shitty fucking five or six days. It's pointless going through that just to go back to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, fully. So it's like... I've been aware the whole time that it would be more, much more fun vaping. But I do... The brain fog and the general fucking sadness that you get from it is shit ass. And it's not like a self... It's not like I'm better than this because I'm not better than it. I'm fucking equally as good as vaping. Like that's <laughs> like I fucking met my match. <laughs> it's very but it's just time. like I just don't want to. Like I'm aware that my brain was just fucking fogged out, fogged out, hard. Yeah. And I was like, this is probably got. Like I was reading the brain fog fix, and I'm like, oh, maybe the food I'm eating is causing inflammation <laughs> in my brain. <laughs> It's like while inhaling fucking chemicals, Chinese chemicals. So yeah. 
I'm done. It's not fun. It's not a good weekend to do it. Club are good. Good.